Chrome Voice Activate. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool gaming PC. Where the hell are all the cables? Yeah. Where the what fuck? is this? Some Bluetooth <laughs> ball sack cancer setup where, you got? Where here? the hell are all the cables? Oh, looks like somebody wants brain cancer because <laughs> they're Bluetoothing everything apparently. Oh, Bluetooth. You know what that's for? BT. It stands for brain tumor, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all BT, is it? You're gonna get a big BT in your frontal cortex pretty soon. I'll tell you what. Oh, that was a nice sip. Are you having a cup of Joe too? Yeah. Nice evening cup of Joe. Cup of Joe and my special Henry the Eighth and his six wives mug. Swag. My swagged out Henry the Eighth <laughs> mug. So Henry the Eighth am I <laughs> that's the w- world's best polycule. <laughs> Henry the Eighth and his six wives. Yeah, the world's first polycule actually. True. First and still best. Yeah. That's the hottest <laughs> one for sure. <laughs> well it is funny because uh like every polycule does have a guy who looks like that. <laughs> 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 Everyone go look up Henry VIII. <laughs> Every polycule involves a Henry VIII <laughs> style guy. <laughs> like not wearing the cool king's little like um, tights. dress. <laughs> the little cool king's dress. Tights. <laughs> but, but his kingly a, dress. <laughs> He's not wearing his king spanks. They do have a Henry VIII looking ass dude though. Oh yeah. Bro, Fat I, guy beard. Speaking of beard, I shaved the neck beard today while I was shaving my face. Oh, it I, just I, I did the whole thing and then just the neck. Yeah. Felt good. Yeah. Liked it. it you should have left it. I might. We should both just do be neck beard guys. It, it's aggressive because it grows like pretty thick under there. Yeah. It'd be like a real well, heavy. Mine, 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 like my mustache, my goatee zone grows in. Yeah. And then my neck beard. Yeah. And then not. Nothing. So <laughs> <laughs> not, not so much on the cheeks. <laughs> I wanted to, I had it and I was like, oh, I get it. Yeah, I was sitting in the bathroom with <laughs> a shaven <laughs> neck beard, just like we I should understand. just for one episode. You neck bearded up. Yeah, I mean our comments have been going crazy recently, but one that really made me chuckle was a guy on Spotify yeah. commented um, on the on the most recent one there, GamerGate Helldivers episode. Yeah, finally an interesting topic. <laughs> <laughs> I just really <laughs> love the idea of a guy listening to like ten episodes, <laughs> just be like, "When are they going to talk about gaming? <laughs> Why are they talking about all this bullshit? Get to the gaming!" <laughs> dude, yeah, you are cool, dude. <laughs> Shout out that guy. It'd be sick if we just both had neck beards and <laughs> talked about gaming <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should do it um, Instead of all the g- <laughs> gay shit we normally talk about it's g- It is literally gay shit It's us usually talking about like queefing and stuff mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen to it When there's like full dedicated gaming podcasts You can listen to <laughs> <laughs> Coming to the one that's like Explicit with the fact that it's just bullshit the whole time Yeah <laughs> like, Finally <laughs> Finally they're talking about <laughs> gaming <laughs> Also we talk about gaming pretty often That's true Yeah we're but pretty <laughs> We're a couple gamers <laughs> I don't know. Apparently not. Maybe he was talking about... Um, what else did we talk about that episode? Well, it was... I think it was um, gaming and the Oscars. So maybe it was maybe the Oscars. Oscars guy. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Finally, some celebrity... <laughs> <laughs> celebrity fashion gossip. <laughs> yeah, shout out that guy. He's cool as yeah, hell. Yeah, shout out that guy. <coughs> also, shout out the guy who found the I Am A Gamer video. Yo, shout out Blast Wave. Blast Wave. Blast Wave. Plus wild. 15 creds, dude. Yeah. Plus 15 tech creds. I didn't even remember that video well, but it's great. I haven't watched it yet. Is it still hold up? Yeah, I mean, it's got mo- more or less the stuff I remember. The, like, you know, when I'm... Why do I game? <laughs> so when I'm in game, I can be anyone. Is he like that in, like, indignant? Yes, but it's also <laughs> got, like, a big portion that I totally forgot where he's. it's all, like... Oh, and your normal persons out there, they're having their 2.5 kids with their white picket fence. Whereas me, I'm, like, overthrowing a thieving guild. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) It was wild. That's crazy. What does the guy look like in it? Um, you You don't see him. 
Oh. It's sort of a mix of like gaming footage and like animation that kind of looks like that. You know those like whiteboard animated videos? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of like that type of shit mixed with like 240p like mass effect <laughs> and Skyrim footage. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. That's so sick. It's an incredible find. That's an incredible. Yeah, <laughs> Blast Wave, dude. Plus 15 tech creds for you, dude. Yeah. That's sick. I do like the dudes in the comments. We have some good, good ass dudes. Yeah, oh yeah. We have some sick ass dudes. Especially the regulars. It's whenever we breach containment. <laughs> yeah. That's that's when trouble starts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the people who regularly comment are all cool. We yeah, we do attract a very chill sort of we I was looking at the demos, it's like thirty five to forty five mostly. <laughs> Just chill gamer dads. Chill gamer, gamer weed dads. Gamer <laughs> cool weed guys. We're finally finding our niche. Yeah, <laughs> gamer dads. But yeah, every time we break containment though, it's just a million people being retarded pointed out pointing out our Accurately pointing out our flaws in yeah. very rude fashion. <laughs> very rudely. <laughs> you guys are old. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you guys are old and dumb. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And, and no. speaking of um, our flaws, I'm not going to say too much yet, but let's just say the show is going to level up pretty soon again. Oh, yeah. It's about to level up. You hard. guys have no idea. You guys have no fucking it's idea like what's going on. One week, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna tap in. Mm-hmm. <coughs> you're going to be logging I'm on to bug.net. And you'll be watching some bullshit amateur hour shit. <laughs> and the next week, you're going to log in and you're going to be like, what is this, Club Random with Bill Maher? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, the greatest podcast <laughs> ever made? Why does it look so good? What the hell's going what, on? What even happened here? Yeah. And you're thinking. You'll be like, who the hell are these guys? You're thinking, the, the podcast is already so good. You've got the perfect exact replica of the PGL set. <laughs> the exact perfect the one replica. one-to-one. <laughs> one-to-one replica of the PGL set. You yeah, got, you thought we'd peaked. You got cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. a, a coffee table. We're the only podcast online that's allowed to smoke. Yeah, we have a pass Nobody from else thought to do that. Well, no one else is allowed. Yeah. YouTube. I mean, except for Joe Rogan. But not cigarettes. Peace, peace be upon him. Yeah, yeah, but inshallah. He, blessings. But he has... Um, you know, as we all know, he's gay. <laughs> and small. He's a small man, so he, you know, he couldn't take these. <laughs> no. That's why he just smokes cigars. They make him look bigger. <laughs> he's, a, he's a small, bald, thumb-shaped... Gay man. Butt pumper is what, people are, <laughs> is what some people call him. <laughs> not us, but... <laughs> not not, not us, us, but some. some. I've heard some people who would, who would know. They, they would know. They could verifiably <laughs> could tell. <laughs> yeah. He's, that he's he, a butt pumper. He's a, he's a fudge backer. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't smoke, obviously. But the show. But let me. Let's just say. Yeah. The show. We've had some meetings, mm-hmm. and the show is going to be reaching heights we never even thought possible. Yeah. When we started this, th- eight feet that way. <laughs> <laughs> when we started the show, eight feet over there. <laughs> yeah. When I was sitting <laughs> in this chair, but about four <laughs> feet <in> that direction, <laughs> you never could have seen how far we come. You would have no idea. Mama how wouldn't <laughs> believe how far <laughs> we come. <laughs> when I was sitting. Right there, <laughs> <laughs> and you were over there. <laughs> yeah. Before I, you we guys probably think this is some high concept bit. No, but it's actually. Um, well, you'll see. You'll see, and yeah. it's cool. Just give it a couple weeks, and you'll see. Yeah, but we've been going through a lot of hardship though in our on our hero's journey. Oh yeah. I mean, I know most people come to this show, and you know, view us, view, view the Chrome Boys project. As a project of Nietzschean power accumulation. <laughs> You're right. But we've had a pretty serious setback this week. Right. So we were both sick. Yeah, we were. We were both <laughs> sick. We were both <laughs> fucked up. Both deathly ill. Yeah. And what I realized is that um, when I'm sick, being sick and as, an adult, as an adult is, like, awesome. Like, I'm going to say it's better than being sick as a kid. Really? I like it. I guess. I love it. I liked being sick as a kid. I mean, being sick as a kid was cool because you got to miss school. Yeah. But being sick as, as an adult means you get to miss like you get to miss like social obligation. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but what I realized I mean, is for you, I mean, I just don't do social. <laughs> I just don't do social. I don't do social. <laughs> social. <laughs> social. So it wasn't much of a change for me. <laughs> I don't do that shit anyway. But what happened was that uh, I like just stayed home. For like four days. Yeah, I noticed you're really high level and high health. <laughs> 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 All I did, the only people I talked to for four days was random weed dads on hell divers. <laughs> would be like, they'd be like, oh, they'd, 
I, I don't by the way I'm not crazy I don't just open mic talk to guys <laughs> in random lobbies but like when dudes would talk I would like talk back yeah and uh, it was just gaming with weed dads for like four days yeah and uh, they were awesome they'd all have like dogs barking in the back and they'd be like okay so uh, how do we go here because <laughs> I am so scared I have not played this level yet so okay help me <laughs> I am so scared you guys <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> oh that's crazy man I'm so scared right now <laughs> yeah it was all it was like dudes in like different time zones and shit yeah a bunch of Brazilian <laughs> Brazilian yeah, cats, cool. Brazilian Bra- MFers. <laughs> yeah, me and the Brazilians were just playing hell divers at 2:30 p.m. on a Monday. Hell yeah! <coughs> it was fucking awesome. Real gamer hours. <laughs> that is real gamer hours. Yeah, at night is not real game. That's no. all gamer hours. Yeah, real gamer hours is mid afternoon. <laughs> it's on fucking 1:15 p.m. <laughs> on a weekday. <laughs> <laughs> After you got up at 11.30. Yeah. Well, that's when you get the true true gamer demographic. Yeah, unemployed. Eight-year-olds. <laughs> the unemployable. <laughs> um, weed dads. Yeah. And a couple, like, super high-tech guys who are probably, like, billionaires because they invented some credit card capture device or something. Yeah, they invented, like, the gasket that goes in, like, every lawnmower engine yeah. ever. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, they made a trillion dollars. Yeah, so they're gaming from their penthouse. Yeah. Well, those are the real gamers. The elites of society. None of these weekend warrior yeah. bullcraft. The part-timers. Yeah. These fucking part-timers. It was awesome playing with the real gamers. Because, yeah, when you play at night, you're matched with all these fucking Bush League part-timers. Yeah. But at fucking one fifteen p.m. on a Tuesday... Yeah, just me and the elites. <laughs> what else is going on in gaming news? <laughs> yeah, because we are it's gaming. That's what everybody wants. <laughs> We're a gaming just podcast. Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> have there been any big microtransaction scandals? <laughs> What's new in Gamergate? Uh, I haven't seen anything. It seems it's kind of. I think the lines have been drawn. Yeah. Oh no, there was Gamergate news. What happened? That the Department of Homeland Security is investigating gamer extremists right yeah <laughs> us, us <laughs> gamer the leaders <laughs> <laughs> the leaders of the gamer extremist movement yeah yeah we are the most extremist well define extremist because is, is it extreme in a someone who wants beautiful women in western <laughs> games <laughs> <laughs> someone who just wants uh to pay 60 dollars and then have the game yeah but yeah that's your gaming news for the week yep and so um, that. games are looking really good. Yeah, I'm excited about the future of gaming. And in case that guy was more excited about our Oscar talk, um, big news in the royal family. Have you followed oh, this? Yeah, Kate Middleton. How she's been trans. Trans. <laughs> she got trans. She's actually dead and also trans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've I've heard that. Um, what's her husband's name? William. Mm-hmm. Harry. Um, William. 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 That he beat her to death <laughs> with a with a frying pan. Yeah, on a boat. You're right. Well, <laughs> yeah, because I heard I've from my sources are telling me that Prince Charles, the king, right, King Charles, right, who's trans and gay and gay, <laughs> is also dead, <laughs> and that um, Prince William, in a fit of what sources are calling trans rage, <laughs> beat Kate to death. Wow, in a fit of trans <laughs> rage. <laughs> She's well, obviously he's trans. Right, 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 and right. Dead. And that's a common <laughs> thing. And a clone. In a clown. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and that's why Kensington Palace is releasing all of these AI pictures with fucked up fingers and stuff. Right. Are they releasing pictures with fucked up fingers? Yeah. Really? At least one. Really? Yeah, they had one. It was... It, it's... I haven't... I, like, I don't give a shit. No. <clears throat> but it's one of those things where it'd be, like, really easy to quell all of this. Mm-hmm. By just like having her appear, mm-hmm. but they put her a picture of her with her kids, and the fingers are all like AI <laughs> fucked. <up>. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the other day, they had a picture or a video of like um, the Prince William and some chick who looked kind of like her, but obviously was not. Her. It was his mistress. I've heard was that it? that he had a mistress because um, Shim, <laughs> Prince William, right? Print more like Princess William, yeah, because yeah. he's a trans clone. <laughs> Um, killed her. Yeah. And now has a body double. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I've heard he had a mistress, and then he had to kill Kate because she was upset. I see. But my my personal theory is like, is that just like um, Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton finally realized that the royal family is racist, and she killed herself. Oh, to absolve herself of the racism. Yeah, because remember when Meghan Markle, after she got married to Harry, was like, "Oh my God, I didn't realize the queen was racist." Uh, yes, right. Um, sure. So I think that's happening to Kate now. She's because re- from what I can tell, those involved in the royal family 
it takes them approximately six to 12 years to realize someone's racist. Well, I feel like the issue they have now is they don't have Liz in charge anymore. Who Big Lizzy, that's what we call Big her. Lizzie. Big Liz. Big Liz. Lovable then, Liz. You know, with her, whenever there was a loose thread, yeah. Ella Diana. Yeah. <laughs> dealt with. She had that big fat guy take care of it. <laughs> you know that guy? No. She's, there's this Barry, look, age sixty three. Kind of. <laughs> there's this guy. You folks at home can look this up. Look up um, Queen Elizabeth, big fat guy. <laughs> she has a big fat guy. Y- yeah, well, yeah. I mean, not just any big fat guy. This guy's a unit. <laughs> He's a big dude. I'm gonna look him up right now. I'm gonna search exactly those terms that I just told everyone to search. Awesome. Queen Elizabeth. And she had the big fat guy come and deal with shit. Those watching on YouTube will notice we've been greeted by a very pleasant appearance by Fry today. Anything you want to say, buddy? Yeah, there he is. Absolute unit of a man. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> big ass dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's the biggest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, those exact search terms. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, big fat guy. It'll, that's be the, the, it'll be the first result. That's one of the biggest dudes I've ever seen. He's enormous. Looked disgusting before the queen. <laughs> Nipples <laughs> protruding out of his suit. Well, he <laughs> might have looked disgusting, but you had a renegade princess. Mm-hmm. He could squish her. I'll take care of her, mistress. I'll take care of her, mistress. Right, oh, yeah. the <laughs> oh, Diana is making everyone not scared of AIDS. Yeah. All right. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it, mum. I'm on it, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, mum. <laughs> yeah. But He's now like, that... Harry, Diana's making everyone not scared of AIDS. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm right. I got it. I got it, mum. I'm going to hit her car in a tunnel. Don't you worry, mum. I'll, <laughs> I'll drive my car into her in a tunnel. <laughs> Consider it dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> Who's What character is he like? Um, He's like a... I'm, he, he reminds me of a... Maybe he's just a fucking normal British man. Average. Maybe I'm thinking <laughs> Barry sixty three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> <laughs> mum. If I if I kill this woman, can you take me to the football game after? Well, this is like warm up for a very special guest. Next week. Next week, or maybe another week. Maybe probably next week. Probably next week. Maybe later. Yeah. But we're gonna be having a cool guest, a fan Angela. favorite. Fan favorite from across the pond. Yeah, a brand new guest. A guy we've never had on the I show. I know if there's one thing our listeners like, it's meeting new people. We, <laughs> 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 we have an audience base of extremely social, uh, out, yeah. extrovert guys who, who just love. prefer, they like to meet new people, yeah. chat with new faces, <laughs> learn new experiences from a diverse range of <laughs> So we're guests. having a um, trans black <laughs> poet on yeah, to, to hear. Slam poetry. This is me when a when a woman of color is speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're all gonna sit our asses down, and we're gonna listen to some um, poetry about George Floyd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do want to make this a, a, a one of the Chrome because you know we have uh, one of our gestures is holding your phone out and showing someone something. Mm-hmm. I want to make this another one, giving someone the old big ear, listening. All right, everyone, big ears up. We're respecting. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing yeah. about that, thinking about, like, um, uh, just a cool way to signal to each other in public. I'm listening. Well, I'm listening, when Mom. A, when a woman of color is speaking, I'm yeah. l- I listen. And I listen. Is that rude? Would someone get mad at you? If <laughs> like, would it, as a guy who's not social either, would someone be mad at you if you gave them the big ear where they were telling you something you don't care about? Specifically if you don't care about it? Yeah. If I you're, mean, like, uninterested and you just hit him with the big ear. I mean, I feel like the big ear is kind of indicating that you are listening. Right. But is it, like, too much? No. <laughs> like, in co- if you're this far away. Yeah. And the- What's that, mate? Sorry. <laughs> huh? You should get an ear trumpet. <laughs> 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 What's all that, then? <laughs> What's all that, then? What's all that, then? Yeah. That's what the British police did when they found Diana's mangled body in a car. What's oh, what's all this? What's all this, then? Does she have a license for dying in a car? Oh, it's a smushed princess. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Call the chief. Blimey. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey, this princess has been smushed. She's been... <laughs> she's a bunch of gobbledygook. <laughs> Goodness. It's like a large man rolled on top of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how, they, that's how the big guy killed her, is he did, like, a big cannonball <laughs> onto her car. It's like hitting a moose. Yeah, like that guy who was throwing chunks of metal off the bridges here in town. Is there a guy doing that in town? Yeah, he was throwing shit on the white one. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh my god. Yeah, like biffed some pregnant lady. Oh yeah, didn't he drop like a cinder block? Or something, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. basically what that big fat fella, the <laughs> big, the big British fella, he dropped himself. He dropped. He jumped off. Oh, cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Edmonton's Emmett, becoming really good. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of good stuff. Better and better every day. You're better. driving down the the um, our super highway that goes like twenty because it's under perpetual construction and full of. A diverse cast of people who all know how to drive. I've been getting really bad road rage recently. Me too. Saying a lot of... I don't <laughs> know. When I'm, when I'm by myself in my car, yeah. I really unload. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Especially, like... I, I know I've, I, I've, I've mentioned it in this space before. Yeah. But what the fuck is up with minivan drivers? Oh, they're the worst. Like, drive not like a total tar challenge <laughs> impossible if you're a minivan driver dude on the way here i was stuck behind a minivan on the highway yeah doing fucking 75 they pull right in front of you and start driving 20 below the speed limit <laughs> yeah, yeah it's unbelievable because it's like it's smoker moms with like eight kids it's like white fat smoker moms. i always try and spot them when i angrily pull out past them and speed past, yeah yeah speed by and pull out in front of them you know what that, maybe this is like a, a bad thing to admit but every yeah. time i pass someone who's driving in a way i don't like yeah all i'm do- looking to do is like confirm racial biases <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing i'm looking to do is like confirm any sort of racism i have in my head uh, yeah i'm like please be somalian please, please i just like i try and peg them but the yeah. minivan is more diverse yeah it's a mix yeah sometimes it's mom sometimes it's somalian guys yeah, Uber um, Uber Eats drivers, and Uber drivers, some of the worst. Yeah, they're all over the fucking place. Especially in if you're in the city. Yeah, they're just all over the place. They'll just fucking, they'll just switch lanes, whatever. Zip, gl- glim glorp. Yeah, because they're watching fucking Temple Run footage on over their map <laughs> while they fucking are like, trying to figure out where the pick to pick the guy up. Yeah, they're watching Family Guy funniest moments in the picture in <laughs> picture of their map. <laughs> If I was yeah. an Uber driver, that's what I'd do. I'd have, I wouldn't have my phone on the dash. I'd have an iPad with maps. and then Well, like you've got your map thing, and then you've got your separate family <laughs> iPad. <laughs> yeah. Is it illegal to it's put like your... It's taped up right behind your steering <laughs> wheel. <laughs> family guy just, just, just nine hours of American Dad's funniest moments yeah. to laugh your ass off yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, and then if anyone has an issue with it, I drive faster. Yeah, I don't say a word, but I drive faster. No, no English. Have you seen that video of that uh, that Uber driver who wanted that lady out of his car? No. The lady's like, "You haven't dropped me off at my destination," and he's like, "I don't care. I want you out of my car. Get out!" And then he's like punching the steering wheel and screaming. <laughs> it's really good. But what did she do to deserve that? Uh, probably was fucking annoying. <sighs> she was yeah. Really fucking annoying. Because here at Chrome Boys, we go beneath the surface, beneath the headlines. We crack the case. What did that bitch do to deserve <laughs> that? <laughs> How is it not the guy's fault? That's what we're always <laughs> yeah. looking for. <laughs> we are always. And how was she to blame in all this? <laughs> <laughs> what did she do to make this not his fault? <laughs> yeah. What did, what did she do to make him feel disrespected? Oh, she was on her cell phone while he was driving? That's un- incredibly rude. Yeah. He, very disrespectful. Very rude. Not having seen the video, I'm pretty confident it's her fault. Anytime I see a guy push to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I see a man push to the edge. Brother, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. I know where he is. I've been in those waters. Yeah. Because, you know, the average, um, you know, country bear, they see a video of some guy screaming at his diminutive Asian wife. <laughs> they say, oh, it's the, look at the bad guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. Who's the bad guy? Yeah. Me, a guy with some experience. <laughs> Who knows what a fucking <laughs> Filipina can do? Yeah. It's like, what did this bitch do to push him to that? As a, as a member of the married to an angry Filipina Facebook group, yeah. every time I see a man yelling at his small Asian <laughs> wife, I'm like, what is she is she doing? The, mean, what kind of shit is she doing? Here's a, here's a brother who probably got a little bit more than he paid for. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he got exactly what he paid for. He thought he was getting a demure Asian wife to <laughs> fry him up to do um, egg fried noodles the correct way or whatever. Yeah, it turns out he's getting fucking Gordon Ramsay to live with him. Yeah, then he gets <laughs> some surly Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> some st- surly Mongolian step, step creature. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was bonking him on the head with rolled up newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> so he was correcting his English. Yeah. <laughs> bonking him on the head. <laughs> yeah. Tre- treating him like he's some endangered tortoise or something. <laughs> Oh man, it's nice to be back after the disease. Uh, yeah, back at maximum capacity. Yeah, absolutely firing on all cylinders today. F- yeah, full power. Yeah, I had a th- throttle, <laughs> full throttle. Safety protocols. Let's off. go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, I had a thought the other day. You know that Green Day song, "American Idiot." Mm-hmm. Imagine this. Don't wanna be a Yakubian idiot. Big cranium <laughs> making all decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be a Yakubian idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, sh- we should Yakub Max. Yeah, grow our cranium. <laughs> grow our cranium. <laughs> <laughs> the image of Yakub. That's the funny, probably the funniest religion of all time. Is that Hotep? Yes. Yeah. Because they're Black also Israelites. the black Israelites, right? Yes. So they're like, they're black guys. <laughs> Who are also Jewish, Jewish <laughs> but like, but act, but I think in that cosmology, like Jewish people aren't Jewish. No, They're yeah, fake the Jews. black guys are the real Jews. They're the real Jews. Yeah, real. Who have, like, uh, I don't, I don't actually really get the Yakub thing. Because why? He, w- so he was evil. He's an evil genius black guy who, who invented, invented white, white people, people. <laughs> to like okay. as a curse on the so the, the 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 real. So Israelites. he's sort of like the the devil. Yes. Is there like a good guy version of Yakub? I I have no idea. Jesus, who was black, I guess. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine. I just like in, uh, having a figurehead in your religion that is like a big-headed evil black guy <laughs> who invented white people. <laughs> and yeah, and seems to only like the only like images of him seem to be made in like MS Paint. Yeah, wha- <laughs> there's no paintings of Yakub. Yeah, it's just like weird. <laughs> it's like video game renders. It's like 3D models of Yakub. <laughs> and like pixel sprites. Yeah. I've never, um, I, I understand in some places in the States, you just walk down the street, you like run into Yacoub. hoteps. Yeah, well, I think in New York there's a lot of them. I've never encountered such a thing here. I don't know if there's as many in Canada. We're pretty yeah. far from Israel. Well, I mean, y- you know, in my life, I've met two black people and one Jewish person. <laughs> Which we've had on the show. <laughs> yeah. We've had the Jewish guy on the show. <laughs> and zero black Jewish people. Yeah. We don't have that kind of crossover in Canada. No. The U.S. probably a ton, but... Yeah. Could we convert to be black Israelites? Um, I don't see why not. Probably have to read some books and shit. Don't want to be a Yakubian idiot. Yeah. We should become a black Israelite gaming show. <laughs> <laughs> black Israelite. <laughs> <laughs> we could analyze games from the black Israelite perspective. Find out what's safe, what's not safe. <laughs> what's real and what's not. Yeah. What, pr- what promotes the Talmud and what does not. Because would they be pro-Talmud? I have no idea. I don't know where they land on Talmud. <laughs> If you're a black Israelite, <laughs> get at us in the comments. That would that's <laughs> another thing that would make make the dreams come true if we went to a Chrome Boys fan gathering. And it was nothing but black Israelite <laughs> guys. <laughs> the dream is that it's Down syndrome guys and black Israelites. The black Israelite Down syndrome guys. <laughs> I hate you, Koob. <laughs> I'm so sick of the white devil. White devil Twix. <laughs> The devil, the white devil, he always trying to twick you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the dream, is that it's it's the guys with Down syndrome, black Israelites, and um like um like power metal slug guys. <laughs> 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 like real <laughs> greasy, stinky power metal guys. Yeah, just giant Giant fat guys in like <laughs> calf tans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fat guys in camo pants. Yeah, and s- camo pants and sandals. Mm-hmm. With fucking camo pants and like those like cross strap sandals. Yeah. Um and fucking Slipknot t-shirts and shit. Yeah, right. Sure, like spiky band name shirts. <laughs> yeah, from obscure yeah. spiky. Yeah, Norwood like sevens. Did you see that um, video going around? I think it was this last week. It was like a dude wearing one of those spiky shirts and like a little teeny like beanie thing. Maybe. 
and he, he was all like, like, oh, I know I look like a tough guy, but I was actually just crying in the shower to Freebie Bridgers. I did see that. The dichotomy is crazy. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> um, and I would like to formally announce, I'd like to bring back a segment which we, we haven't had in a while, which is Gay Guy of the Week. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, f- I feel like just being gay is less gay than yeah yeah oh yeah than begging for she they pussy yeah oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah just having a boyfriend is less homosexual <laughs> than what that guy's doing <laughs> he could like have a big sign out it's being please. like please please <laughs> i just need a little bit of they them pussy a crumb <laughs> of some like uh acne and heavy eye makeup pussy <laughs> <laughs> Where are my she days at? <laughs> Where's the the heavy eye makeup and acne and dyed hair pussy? I don't know. I assume everyone's uh, they went pretty viral. I saw. So it. Everyone knows what we're talking about. The fucking guy, <laughs> the gayest guy of all time. That's that is yeah. And just like the whole thing, but like being like, I know I look tough. It's like, no, dude, you no, look like a guy who's trying to get she they nineteen year old pussy. Yeah, you look like <laughs> yeah. you look like a thirty two year old trying to get nineteen year old <laughs> yeah. she they pussy. Yeah, you look like you, you look work exactly like what you are. Yeah, you look like you work at a gastro pub <laughs> and have a fucking uh, Mac Miller album on vinyl. You guys wouldn't believe it, but I was actually just crying in the shower to Phoebe Bridgers. For what? The Even adding. though I look like this, oh, oh the dichotomy. D- you were crying because the allegations <laughs> surfaced on Twitter? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that's the worst type of guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one was... Um, crying because you have to move again because another woman accused you <laughs> of some shit on Twitter? Because, <laughs> yeah, you ended up in yet another Facebook list of... <laughs> Avoid this guy local, at shows. <laughs> local grab hands. <laughs> yeah, local guys. Local who, groper. <laughs> gropers at fucking indie shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. That's by the way. If you go to indie shows, that's groper physiognomy. Oh, these are, yeah. these are allegations. I'm not. I'm yeah. not even alleging anything against that guy. But that style of guy. He's definitely like not not to allege anything <laughs> against him. Yeah. But he looks and acts like a sex predator. <laughs> 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 yeah. Everything about him is to the learned eye <laughs> screams <laughs> sexual monster. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of that's the I feel like we need to train actually I think from what I from what I saw the ladies caught on too. They got it. They were like oh my god. Well, that's probably after some dudes had pointed it out. Probably they were or probably they've all seeing it and being like, Whoa, that dichotomy is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> There's probably a bunch of He's well, so tough and sensitive. At that's the, the same thing time? I noticed about like sexy guys online. Mm-hmm. Is that as gay as everyone can agree it is, men and women, um, there's always women who fall for it. Oh, yeah. The same thing goes for, like, sexy women online, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't think that guy, because, I mean, that costume he was wearing (laughs) is sort of like the, uh, it's like a Venus fly trap. Yeah. For, like, sex pests. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's like it was his, his garb is like his Venus flytrap. Yeah, for yeah, cutter chicks, cutters, grime yeah. style girls, yeah. and he def- he does it for pussy entirely. It works. Yeah, because he because you know why? Because he secretly like loves like Star Wars or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, you know he's not that like weird, <laughs> obtuse view askew. This is what real view askew guys look like. Right here, it's f- like schlubby idiot guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We um, the, yeah. Welcome to the viewisk universe. Patent <laughs> pending. We made that up. <laughs> Kevin Smith can go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> this is what <laughs> Kevin Smith can go. Okay, we can fucking pwn our dicks, dude. <laughs> he stole that term from us. Well, that's what like w- when you wear a costume like that. That's what you're just trying to like. Um, put out the image that you're like a little different and weird. Yeah. And it's like it's you just look like you work at uh, fucking Sunrise Records, brother. Yeah. Actually, no. The guys who work at Sunrise Records are fucking Norwood Sevens with ponytails. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, skinny you look, fat. He looks like head. he get, is on his hands and knees. Please. In the bath, he just gave the she they nineteen year old eighty dollars worth of coke <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> at the indie show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now he just wants her to touch it. <laughs> just a little touch. <laughs> just kiss it. Speaking of touching it, <laughs> free association. Well, you're not even smoking weed. <laughs> this is crazy. Did you see the guy who's jacking off in the movie theater? The no. Other top, our other top story <laughs> of the week. <laughs> what? <laughs> this video. To what movie? Um, 
It's a new what's it called? It's a Kirsten Stewart movie. Oh, that's yeah, where yeah, she's like a, a bodybuilder lesbian. lesbian. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this um, picture went pretty viral on X. Of it's like from above in a movie theater. It's this like white dude wearing black Air Force Ones. <laughs> Red flags. So you know he's trouble. You know he's crazy. And on the, on the little like table beside him, yeah. he's got two mini bottles of Fireball and like a vape. <laughs> And a pack of smokes that it kind of looks like it might have like drug paraphernalia, like a like a snooter or something. In oh, okay. It. And he's laying there, and um, his like pants are down and his dick is up, <laughs> but he's like fast asleep. <laughs> so the comment was like, "I think this dude jacked himself off to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to go to the theater to goon, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to bring gooning paraphernalia to the and theater, then to accidentally fall asleep. <laughs> It was your little little no shaft dick <laughs> <laughs> just out for the world to see. That's crazy. And he got arrested. Damn. Yeah. <coughs> what? Because in Welcome to Biden's America. Yeah, that's a rated R movie. Where you can't even jack off in a movie. What the hell else am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell else do you think am I watching this Chris bodybuilder lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> that is actually really funny. Like, uh, that's a funny statement about the movies that a dude fell asleep after jacking off. <laughs> he went to see the movie jacked off and passed out. <laughs> <laughs> That's like bad if that, if I made a movie and it, that happened in it like a guy jacked off to the movie I made and then passed out. Yeah. I'd but be a little hurt. To be ch- to be charitable though. Mm-hmm. Um maybe he just went there and he <laughs> knocked back some fireball, mm-hmm. snorted a little fent. Yeah. Fell asleep. But once you're asleep, you can't be held responsible for what you do. No. So you fall asleep at the movie theater. Get so you take dream. your dick out. Whatever. That's so funny. To someone <laughs> sitting next to you being like, "Hey, stop!" And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> sleeping <laughs> while you're just jacking off. <laughs> I mean, listen. We all go to the movie theaters. We all think about jacking off there the entire time. <laughs> the entire time when I'm watching um, Crimes of the Future. <laughs> Man, I wish I could jack off. <laughs> God, this is so hot. When I'm watching. Dune too. <laughs> yeah, this looking is at Zendaya's sexy frown. I'm looking at Zendaya's <laughs> yeah, exact same face she makes every her scene. sexy frowning face. <laughs> her sort of upset, <laughs> unemotive, rigid face. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, I wish I could jack off right now. When it, when Timmy just well, blue I'm like, steals. Man, Timothy Chalamet's beautiful like a woman. <laughs> yeah, he's beautiful like a girl. Did you see he's playing Bob Dylan in a new biopic? Really? Yeah. Just because he has. Th- like the hair? Literally, yes. <laughs> is the hair and a Jewish nose. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Yeah, you as a Dylan guy, that must be like a slap in the face. It's pretty fucking gay. Because like, the best Bob Dylan movie already happened. It's I'm Not There. Where they had like eight actors. Is that the best of? I hated that movie. Really? Yeah, but I mean, I often see movies and I hate them and I'll watch them years later. Mm. But when I, when I went and saw it in theaters... I was like, this stinks. The, the chapter with the little black child sucks. Where he's supposed to be like Woody Guthrie. Yeah. That one stinks. I just, I didn't, I didn't really like the thing of switching the actors. I think it's the only way you could make like a Bob Dylan movie because he's such a like elusive liar, basically. Mm-hmm. He loves lying. Do you think Timmy will nail it? No. He's going to play it like <laughs> the way he plays everything, which is like a cute little twink. <laughs> The winds are a changing. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? There's something blowing in the wind. Yeah. What? Like the whole reason Bob Dylan went electric is because he was like sick of the hippies. Like he literally, they pissed him off. They were like, "You're a hero," and he was like, "Please shut the fuck up." Yeah. And like, I don't think, I just think Timmy's gonna play it normal. He's gonna play it like calling by your name. He's gonna have his own underwear over his head, gas masking himself. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing with Timothy Chalamet is. He's taken a long time to hit twink death. <laughs> yeah. Is he like almost 30? We won't be rid of him till he does. Because <laughs> yeah. a certain segment of the population who cast movies... <laughs> Love <laughs> twinks. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do? Not cast the tightest bussy in Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Not have a hot little twink in your movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, he needs to get like replaced or... Uh, when he eventually hits the Michael Sarah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it like, just becomes a weird, gangly man. <laughs> a weird, like a really <laughs> distressing looking guy. Because <laughs> that's what happened to Michael Sarah. He looks w- weird. I mean, he held out looking like he was 50 <laughs> until he was 35. <laughs> yeah. 
And then, like, a switch flipped. <laughs> and now he's just a weird, gangly man. <laughs> <laughs> a weird, gangly, rat-faced man. <laughs> a lot, those style guys age like Chinese people. <laughs> yeah. Like, they look young it's until young, they're 31. Young, young, young. And then 107. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a switch. It's, I look kind of perpetually like 22. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. I'm just coming in kind of quiet. But I'll fix it through the magic of post. Get the fucking engineers on it. Yeah. Get our sound engineers to check it out. Yeah. Ship it to Baghdad. Van- Vinash will <laughs> look into it. I'll make a note for Vinash to turn <laughs> me up a little bit. <laughs> if, if this show starts making like serious money, I would love to hire a, like a Pakistani guy as the producer who doesn't speak a lick of English. Yeah. Not even a word. Or he'll replace the TVs. Yeah, he'll stand and back he'll here. He'll just have like thousands of dollars worth of like tech and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like lights beeping and like reel to reel, like fit or fucking film recorder yeah, thing, yeah, tape, yeah. tape recorders yeah and it'll be like constant it'll be like a mcdonald's in the back <laughs> of mcdonald's just constant <laughs> five different alarms going off <laughs> constantly i'll be like adil shut the fuck up printar come on and then turn that shit down bro <laughs> we'll ask him to like pull shit up and because he doesn't speak english he'll just be like what printar can you sh- pull up the baby monkey taking a bath video please <laughs> Can you pull up the big fat guy with Queen Elizabeth, please? Thank you. Big fat, <laughs> type in big fat guy, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Q U E E. I would love that. Or just like a very elderly Chinese man. Yeah. That would be like really <laughs> And give him his own cam in like the booth. <laughs> and he's just this like skeletal Chinese man <laughs> with big headphones on. And he's just like skinning something that's a little bit too small to be a... <laughs> dog <laughs> like a really old Chinese guy like dequilling a dead bird <laughs> like dumping the feathers in a bucket I'm just chain smoking without <laughs> ever touching a cigarette <laughs> yeah we'll just cut to him randomly and be like yo Quan, what do you think about this and he'll go oh oh Damn. And sometimes we'll have like, we'll come back and we'll have like three buddies in there, <laughs> just all sitting in the booth. Yeah, just more elderly <laughs> Chinese man. I think the elderly Chinese man is like the ultimate um, state of being. Yeah, they seem like they've got it pretty figured out. Yeah, if you're like a very elderly Chinese person. Yeah, you smoke cigarettes, you walk around with your, like, hands behind your back, all stooped over. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> hunched, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> just you taking the world at your own pace, man. Yeah, just walking really slowly. And, yeah. like, I don't know, maybe, what, what, reading a newspaper in Chinese or something. You're looking at the pictures in the English one? Mm-hmm. That's it? Interesting. I actually had an interesting... I learned something interesting about the Chinese people this week. Yeah. They kind of reframed everything. <laughs> okay. Are you familiar with boba tea? Yeah, I love boba tea. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where the term boba came f- comes from? No. It's like the a Chinese, I think Cantonese, but it could be the other one. Mm-hmm. It's their word for giant breasts. Nice. <laughs> really? <Yeah>. Oh man. <laughs> Cause oh man. Just the little balls. Reminded them of giant breasts. <laughs> Damn. And it's just like, wait a second. So you're telling me there's a Chinese word, boba, <laughs> for giant breasts. Giant breasts. And this, and like, scientists aren't hard at work finding the link that we are all one. <laughs> that this doesn't conclusively prove that we are all one. We're all one unit. <laughs> and all of our differences are an illusion. I honestly <laughs> did not know the Chinese were funny. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really funny. Yeah, boba. <laughs> <laughs> they're just sitting there like, Don't they, what the, what the, like looking at a, a cup of boba tea, the first one, the team of like ch- old Chinese guys, just like, Don't what, the, what do we call it? And then one of them goes, Don't have a boba. My understanding is there was an, an actress <laughs> with large breasts who they called boba. Oh my and God. And she really liked boba tea. <laughs> 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 oh my god, the Chinese are hilarious. <laughs> but okay, but like how how could that be that the Chinese word for giant boobs is boba? What I mean it's mean? it's just it's so close. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Which I think confirms the theory that, you know, there used to be one race, race of giant giants. 
huge ass giants. And we got all our word, everyone. Yeah, we all, we all have devolved from them. It were, it's like you know the movie um, Limitless. The the new aliens, Prometheus. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know those big big white bald guys. Yeah, yeah. That that was real. Yeah, Yakub inv- made those. And they, and at least one of their the key words are the Rosetta Stone Who's that we're gonna boob. unblow this all open. Booba. Booba. <laughs> <laughs> Gib gives me booba. <laughs> gives me dap. <laughs> Baby thirsty booba. <laughs> 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 We're breaking it open. <laughs> breaking it open. <laughs> Thanks to the Chinese. Yeah. Damn. Booba. That would be awesome. <laughs> Booba <if> tea. <laughs> we had a fucking uh, a Chrome Boys get together, and our, our crowd was like. The guys who showed up were all non English speaking Chinese guys. She's <laughs> 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 all like sort of schlubby, bad haircut, <laughs> stinky, smelly, <laughs> like uh, Dance Dance Revolution t shirt wearing Chinese guys mm-hmm. in like jeans and runners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. We're just at a, we're at a hotel convention center. Yeah. There's 350 we're the, Chinese. We're the guys. only guys who speak English there. <laughs> they they love the podcast. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Yeah. Elderly Chinese <laughs> man. Black Israelites, Jet black Israelites, Down syndrome wiggers, <laughs> big, f- big fat black metal guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <the> dream. <laughs> Just doing like a like some sort of like meet like a photo shoot or something. Yeah, we'll have one of those like cheap ass foam things you can jump into and like break your spine. It'd be so funny. Yeah, we do like a fan meetup and it's just a like the McDonald's playground. Yeah, <laughs> for the retarded for guys. Adult. <laughs> it's it's one hundred percent adult man. Yeah, we should do a. We should do a <laughs> in the ball pit. <laughs> this guy's playing, yeah. coming to us with like issues. Like Terry fucking threw a ball at my head. It really hurt. <laughs> it's a forty-seven-year-old bald man. Welcome to Chrome Boys <laughs> Adult Daycare. <laughs> yeah, we got gaming PCs over there. If you guys want to play Path of Exile or um, Counter Strike, mm-hmm. and we have a ball pit over there. Uh, no jumping. No peeing. <laughs> no peeing. No peeing in the ball pit. <laughs> Not like, you know what happened last year. We lost our deposit. <laughs> <laughs> and please, no rough housing. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> no, 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 no rough housing. <laughs> yeah. No hitting. And if a woman shows up, you got to treat her with respect. Be nice. <laughs> Some of your moms are coming to pick you up later. Be nice. Yeah, and by respect, I mean no breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's it. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Some of you are gun owners. I don't want to see it here. Mm-hmm. I like that. I respect it. Yeah. Keep it in the car. That's why I haven't started up a Discord. I'm afraid of how much power might be unleashed on the world. <laughs> and I don't want it to spin out of control and turn into some sort of satanic grooming gang, which I believe <laughs> usually is what happens on Discord. <laughs> it's my understanding. That's what most people on Discord are up to. I think it's like a. I think it just attracts like the the worst type of dudes. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, it's just like a. It's like a socialized. It's like a at home socialization app so you don't have to go out yeah to like socialize yeah which is a key part is like uh, a key part of going outside is like uh, knowing at which volume to say things <laughs> <laughs> and in which direction <laughs> that's true that's a that's a key skill yeah knowing how loud to say things how? and to who <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, but on Discord, you don't have to worry about that. No, you just fucking yell and be crazy all the time. Yeah. Which is bad. Be like, are there any 15-year-olds <laughs> in here? <laughs> Would you fuck me? <laughs> there was one uh, screenshot going around of what I assume is an average Discord um, interaction. Nice. And it was sort of like, you know, we'll say there's person one and person two. Yeah. And person two is kind of like, uh, I'm actually only 15. And person one's like, oh, that's that's too young for me. And person two is like, I don't mind. And the person one's like, well, I do. I just think it's weird. And then there's a gap of like 15 minutes. And then person one comes in. It's like, actually, would you mind sending me a picture of your panties? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He just went to the. He went to the mind palace. <laughs> Meditate. He was there. He was, you know, in the moment. He was like, no, no, that's weird. That's weird. That's wrong. And then <laughs> spends fifteen minutes mulling it over. And he's like, fuck it. <laughs> he's just watching like meditative, like frequency YouTube video. <laughs> 
Oops. Just asking to see the pandas <laughs> probably isn't even illegal. <laughs> That's fine. That's, you can see the same thing at the beach. <laughs> Well, actually, it was a big week for um, like sex pests getting nailed. Well, who else? Did you see the weird little Ricky Berwick guy? What? There's like this dude who has like Ricky Berwick itis <laughs> got like gremlin itis creep, creep catchered. <laughs> oh, really? So he's like you know got the little like baby <laughs> man body in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. The dude's like, Drew, this is a serious issue. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> uh, I know it's serious. <laughs> It turns out he's like the head of HR at Pinterest. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? And he's like, yeah, he's. I don't know if he's got the exact same thing as Ricky Berwick, but basically, like, he's got that like shriveled, up like teeny, kind of like a teeny little like child's body. Yeah, yeah, With yeah, like yeah. a big kind of uncanny vanity looking. Yeah, the head, head the chest that kind of goes out and like is yeah. kind of curved or whatever. Well, I couldn't. He didn't look quite as like warped. Is Ricky? But he had like baby man body. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to meet like a teenage boy. Damn. So it is one of those things where it's kind of like Stephen Hawking. Like, like well, to do if what? You get molested by this guy. <laughs> yeah, you're meeting up to do what? It's kind of on you to some extent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> letting this guy catch you? Come it's, on. it's like the uh, what's it? Fifty Cent Cyber like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Tyler the Creator. <laughs> 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 Just stand up. <laughs> 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 Just walk four feet that <laughs> way. Walk upstairs. <laughs> and you're out of the grip of his t- weird little garbled hands. <laughs> he can't reach you anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. go step on the third stair. <laughs> He's totally done. He's cooked. <laughs> he can't get you anymore, man. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, he got got. That's really funny what you did when you went. Yeah, I know it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's <laughs> he had this weird little creepo smile. Like, yeah, well. Yeah, I know it's bad. My my roommate's on the way. <laughs> so, What'd you tell your roommate, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real. I remember on To Catch a Predator, they had a guy with like MS show up, and that was awkward. So he rolled in with crutches, and then uh, Chris Hansen came out, and he was like, "Oh." Hey, and this like extremely fucked up legged guy was sitting there, and it's it's really weird because he's like an extremely disabled guy, but he's also there to fuck a child. <laughs> so Chris Hansen's like, "Uh, what's your username?" <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of the thing with this guy too. So at a certain point, it's like, damn, this guy's probably been through a lot. Like, just let him fuck the kid. <laughs> it's hard living like that, dude, having a little baby bad body. <laughs> You'd be being baby man every day. It's yeah. hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hard life. Now he's probably got fired from Pinterest. Noted pedophile company. Pinterest? Pin- allegedly. Alle- <laughs> <laughs> Noted alleged pedophile company, <laughs> Pinterest. Pinterest? <laughs> Recipe sharing and ped- and child porn finding uh, platform? Because that's what people do on Pinterest, I believe. Child pornography? Yeah, it's like uh, recipes, Interior pictures decor. of like wallpaper, yeah. child pornography. Yeah, that's the main thing on Pinterest. The three P's of Pinterest. <laughs> Pinterest. <laughs> Recipe. Recipes. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. Child porn. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining that guy giving a, a keynote. <laughs> All right, I have the new app. I need money for it. It's got it's bailed on the three P's of Pinterest, baby. Recipes. Wallpapers. Child porn. <laughs> Everyone's like, all the board of the boardroom is like. Well, we like the first two. <laughs> yeah. I like what you got going on. Why the child porn? But, you know, I don't love the child porn idea, but I like the other two so much that That's I... That's a really <laughs> good idea. You I can think like s- overall, because we got two good ones, one bad That's one. That's like 30% bad, really. <laughs> That's still plus one good. That's 66% good, <laughs> really, when you think about it. Just on the drive home, like, well, it's, it's you know, the idea is 66% safe. It's 33% bad, so like, I don't know. I think it's funded, you know? It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's going to be cool. our bases. <laughs> cool cutters are going to use it to save pictures of Kurt Cobain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And pic- cool. yeah, pictures of wallpaper that's, you know, a color. I literally do that. I've used that before. Pinterest? Yeah, for, like, literally pictures of, like, wallpaper and, like, light fixtures. And been like, Why are you trying to meet kids for <laughs> sex? <laughs> 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 trying to meet children for sex or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on there. <laughs> the d- people are calling it the grooming hub. <laughs> Saving pictures yeah. of the nice kitchen and being like, yeah. 
If you thought Discord was dangerous, <laughs> Pinterest is crazy. <laughs> Wait till you hit the dis- the Pinterest comment section. <laughs> Listen, I'm a 45 year old man, and I got groomed. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to not get groomed. And this is my story of getting groomed on Pinterest. <laughs> when I, <laughs> when I was he looking, just had such cool pictures of wallpaper. The lighting, f- the the interior design he was posting was fantastic. And recipes. It was all like great <laughs> Art Deco stuff and like cars that were a color that matched the wallpaper. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for an idea on what to do with my socks when I wear sweatpants. <laughs> And then uh, next thing I know, I'm in this guy's car. Yeah, next thing I know, Omaha. I'm carving this guy's name into my <laughs> leg on a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> like 41-year-old woman. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was just looking for cute latte ideas in the morning. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm, <laughs> I'm taking testosterone and becoming trans. <laughs> yeah, next thing I know, I'm biting the head off my hamster <laughs> <laughs> on a live stream for 50 guys. <laughs> Oh my god! So yeah, it's good to be back in the saddle. Yeah, it's back in the stew. Back in the after all the hardship we've gone through, the disease, the disease, the gaming I had to do, the gaming I had to do. Yeah, your restorative gaming, <laughs> my healing <laughs> game. That's what I call <laughs> healing gaming. Yeah, like I do, I, I try to keep in my week and uh, like a sort of a preventative level of gaming, mm-hmm. so that disease doesn't get me. It's probably what happened is you weren't gaming enough. <laughs> That's why I got through. <laughs> yeah, I think Same it, for me. Yeah, because when you game, where are you not? In the public. In the public. Danger. <laughs> danger. Danger. <laughs> danger. <laughs> Red alert. Red, Red alert. alert. Well, speaking of illness, I heard this week um, there was some study. I saw it get posted in uh, The Guardian, which is typically pretty, you know, libtarded. Yeah. Um, but they posted an, art- an article about this study that, like, long COVID is fake. Right. And... Um, People were not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Some people were not too happy oh, about fibro, that. Oh, fibro, fibro ladies? Fibro style ladies, <laughs> yeah. If long COVID <laughs> is fake, explain why my 800-pound body can't get up the <laughs> stairs without coughing. <laughs> if yeah. long COVID is fake, why do I cough every time I eat red peppers? Yeah, if long COVID is fake, why do I, a person who's been <laughs> ill every day for the last 15 years, <laughs> why do I feel so bad? <laughs> long COVID is fake. Why do my knees hurt? Yes, I'm 655 pounds, by the way. <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, those people were really unhappy with it, though. Really? Well, I mean, there's a certain... Seg- well, the funny thing is that the all these people pre-COVID... Yeah. We're already like this. <laughs> we were already they ill. They had fibro. They had <laughs> chronic fatigue. Yeah. They had... Um, Physical manifestation. The one where you shit yourself all the time. IBS. Lyme, Lyme disease. Oh, Crohn's. 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 That's one. Beta Lyme Crohn's. disease is the one you get from ticks. Some of them had that too. <laughs> they had Lyme disease. They had Crohn's. They had fibro. Yeah. They had every possible disease that yeah. has no definitive test. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that then they <laughs> caught long COVID. And, and like, <laughs> honestly, yeah, what's the... What's the big hassle if long COVID is not real? You you st- are st- you still feel shitty because you're seven hundred pounds. Right, just go back to fibro. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> right there. <laughs> you already had it. It was your your thing for so long. Right. It's fine. But now they've had their new thing taken away from them. Right. Mm-hmm. So now their workplace is gonna be like, okay, well, what the fuck is wrong then? Yeah. And they have to explain. Well, now it's it's still the fatigue. It was there when they broke down. Long COVID by like demographic. Yeah. How like certain demographics are like ten times more likely to catch long COVID than others. What were those demographics? Um women twenty eight to forty three. It was non binary people and bisexuals were the ones who were Whoa. really running running the field. <laughs> Whoa. I'm not going to say too much on that one. I think that essentially speaks for itself. That speaks. Everyone can totally fill in the blanks. Look, we're just (laughs) providing you with data. That's actually. This is literally just hard data. That's nuts. (laughs) No editorializing. (laughs) (laughs) That's nuts. And it's like statistic. We're talking like double (laughs) the next groups. Like it's like way ahead. Damn. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, moving (laughs) on. Actually, I was at a. one of those like hip cafes downtown yeah the other day more more people under 30 with with crutches and walkers than i've ever seen in my life <laughs> <laughs> yeah I or mean, like i was like there's no way everyone here has fucking like, muscular dystrophy like did they have like the crutches but not like with a cast or whatever no no just walking with like a cane or like a 
like they, a lot of them had like canes. Damn. With like stickers all over them. I yeah. saw like four people <laughs> in this cafe with canes or a walker. <laughs> and they're all youth. The youth. Yeah, they were like younger than me or like my age. Yeah, this will well, this will be filed under Gen Zs. How Gen Z is doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they all walkers. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> shaved heads and walkers. <laughs> I was in there. I felt like the, the, the more the more we do, also I, I like the more this show is just two um, like boomer dads. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out what the fuck the kids were up to. <laughs> but like, I did feel like a fucking boomer dad. I was in here. I was like, you're fucking fine. What are you doing? <laughs> what, there's four of you in here. <laughs> were they like together? Like, no, like separate groups. Like twenty five year olds with walkers. Yeah, like they're all. Dispersed around the cafe huh. And I was like What the fuck is going on <laughs> Did you all get in like a bus accident or something They all got disabled by long COVID probably It was the strangest It was the most like Republican I've ever felt That is weird I walked in and I just wanted to get my damn co- black cup of coffee flavored coffee Yeah And I was like what the hell is going on in here That's like me when I go to uh, Walmart. <laughs> went to Walmart a couple times recently. Oh my God, yeah. And it's always like a weird kind of hellish experience. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's like Dante descending <laughs> through the levels of hell. Yeah. And it's just like, why is everyone here so fucking ugly? <laughs> everyone. <laughs> everyone. Every. I'm a Walmart like twelve. <laughs> like, yeah. When you walk in, listen. W- I'm under no illusions about how I look. Yeah. But against your average Walmart <laughs> person, I'm a Dime piece. <laughs> it's like, why is everyone here is like the most fucked up, dumpy <laughs> and fat, and they like they don't like even have a a race. <laughs> just <laughs> beige blobs. <laughs> just these weird formless blobs. <laughs> like, can't walk properly. <laughs> walk all fucked up. He's so like fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you ever? Be, be, did you stop at the 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 Walmart McDonald's? Because that's oh. where they, that's like the the center of hell. That's where they keep the it's most. It's like the grease trap <laughs> in the McDonald's. Like, that's where they keep the most <laughs> fucked up Walmart <laughs> residents is in the McDonald's. I mean, it makes me kind of like just not want to go to Walmart at all. It sucks because it's like if I come here too much, am I just going to become one of these people? Yeah, I use the <laughs> pharmacy pretty often because it's so close to my house. Yeah. And, like, I get most of my groceries from the Walmart. Yeah. And it, like, yeah, I hate going in there. <laughs> I hate it. Because it's, like, also, like, everyone just is at this weird decanter in Walmart. Like, no one, I'm in there, like, um, on a mission always. Yeah, I'm, like, a speed walker. Yeah, I just get it. I hate being but in the grocery store. But every time in Walmart, like, every time I'm going down, you know, the, on the right side. Yeah, normal There'll be style. some fat as fuck couple. <laughs> Like meandering along Looking at cereal And I'll have to like Zip to the other side Yeah 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 some person who's like Yeah like the minivan equivalent Of a person <laughs> yeah, You know yeah. And I noticed this at Walmart In particular That I don't see at other Higher Higher crust Grocery stores You know Your Savons Your yeah. Sobeys well, I mean, Your even, IGA Even at like No Frills No Frills is, is good similarly cheap Yeah Everyone in there is like Normal Yeah But in Walmart Everyone's a fucking freak <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed this happens at Walmart, especially when I'm because I do that. I'm respectful when I'm looking for something in the aisle. Mm-hmm. I stand opposite side, right, and I look across. Yeah, at Walmart, this happens where when I'm doing that, <laughs> people just walk in front of me and stand in front of me and then just look at the shit some, that I'm looking. Some at. amorphous blob. <laughs> I have to be like, okay, bro, what the <laughs> fuck? I have to like reach around you now. Yeah, they stand like right in front of the aisle and just look at the shit. And the cr- thing is, like, Walmart's not. Like that much cheaper than other places. No, I think it's because they do more. Walmart has like an automotive section. Maybe. So it's like yeah. it's like the eight in one shower right. gel equivalent yeah. of like a grocery <laughs> store. Where you can go yeah. there, you can get toys for your kids. You can get an Xbox. I mean, I do, I do go there for that. It's like, all right, I can go get some groceries at Walmart and also get yeah, cat food, cat food, and like litter. Yeah, and fucking I had a shirt in a weird <laughs> shirt, like a big long extension cord. Yeah, that's I c- one foot shorter than I need. That's <laughs> the thing is, yeah, it's, I can go to Walmart and I can get like cereal and then like jumper cables for my car, right? And then a fucking uh, like a super soaker, yeah. And then sh- shoes. But wh- but but why does that attract the most busted people <laughs> in society? Because I think it's like car denizens, like people who mostly live in their car, like the yeah. amount of disgusting interiors of cars. 
in a Walmart parking lot. Oh. You know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Garbage everywhere. I mean, I can't even talk. I have a bunch of fucking cigarettes all over. Oh, no, my car is <laughs> disgusting, too. But it's like at Walmart, that's that's a rarity is just a normal <coughs> interior of a car. Yeah. Everyone in there has fucking like um, like McDouble wrappers all over the place. Yeah. Cu- uh, cups of like melted ice caps from Timmy's and shit. It, 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 I don't know. It does make me feel like I am in hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> just like, who the fuck are all these people? <laughs> <laughs> and they just drift. They're like ghosts. Yeah. I, the amount of people I've seen at Walmart empty, when I go there, I see them when I get there, right when I start. Yeah. Empty basket or cart. Yeah. And then they're for like 15 minutes. And when I'm leaving, they have maybe th- like three cans of tuna in the cart. Yeah. And it's like, what? What are you? What are you doing here? Yeah. Like when I went there, I went there earlier today to get some shit. And um, when I was trying to get a basket, there was this weird slime lady <laughs> who took like three minutes to grab a basket. <laughs> she was standing in front of their with the one little stack of baskets. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like one by one putting all her shit. In the oh basket as it was still on the stack. Jesus Christ, you fucking <laughs> psychopath! <laughs> <laughs> and the, the Walmart, it, they have like an eye place. You can go get your eyes checked. They have a nail salon. Mm-hmm. They have McDonald's. They have yeah. fucking automotive. Got they have the a photo pharmacy. center. You get pictures taken of yourself. Yeah, your family. It just attracts that. Cut. Yeah, you can keep. <laughs> <laughs> it just attracts like bug people who are like, oh, I can fucking get everything I need to do today done at Walmart. Yeah, like me. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm slowly morphing into a Walmart guy. Something is up, though. Yeah, I hate being in there. I <laughs> like, hate it so much. Like like it's just like it's notable. Yeah. That, um, just like on the scale. Yeah. Everyone in a Walmart's more fu- way more fucked, fucked up. up, like more fucked up than average. Yeah, you go to any other grocery store, and there's like, you know, there's like people with jobs. It's in like there. even even compared to the mall, yeah, which oh, has yeah. a lot of weird fucked up looking people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Walmart has like the bottom. Tenth percentile <laughs> yeah. of the mall crowd. Yeah, it's that percentage of people who don't even like deserve jobs usually. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if I were to, if you were to like ask any of them like what they do, and where they work, it's like you shouldn't be there. Well, there. This might be where India is ahead of us, because you know how in India they have the Dalites. You know that are you familiar with the Indian caste system? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the people who are on the very bottom of it. <laughs> yes. Who are like they're like genetically scum <laughs> engineered to like <laughs> clean up shit with their hands, <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's w- the thing about India that's so wild <laughs> is like I think here you sort of tend to think like oh like you know Indians are from India. Yeah. But it's like there. I think maybe it's because it's such like a like large civilization you know so many different like peoples and Mm -hmm. stuff how like they are more racist to indians (laughs) oh yeah than a normal white person can even (laughs) conceive yeah they've they the dalites used to have to um have a broom tied around their waist because their shadows were considered to be dirty so they would have to sweep behind themselves as they walk (laughs) and they were they literally for generations their their role was to clean up shit with their hands (laughs) And, like, in the Indian system, like, the sort of their caste system, yeah. like, there's no getting out of it. No, yeah, yeah you can't progress. Yeah, like, there's no, um, yeah, like, you, you can't progress, you can't get you out. You can't bury like Lyndon you, yourself. You, you can't get out of the bottom rung, your children can't get out of that rung. You're just fucked you're forever. You're there forever. Maybe if you're lucky, next time around you'll come back as one step up as a bug. <laughs> 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 As a spider, like it, it was, it's so like solidified. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> and I feel like the Walmart people are just—they're like our Dalites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they should be cleaning up shit with a broom, <laughs> yeah. with their hands. I think that maybe there just is. And this is kind of too harsh, but there might just be a certain percentage of people who. They're, they're shit picker uppers. Oh, a hundred percent. I don't even think that's harsh. They're just <laughs> that's, that's what, what I mean about people who don't deserve do. jobs. It's like you shouldn't be hired anyway. You're a menace. And the thing is, too, like I'm not even worried about saying that because none of those people are ever going to listen to something like this. They wouldn't even understand. <laughs> they couldn't. Well, that's what I was. Ta- I forget who I was like, talking these, these about. These are people way. who, in 2024, probably can't operate a computer. No. Yeah. 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 You know. I was talking about someone with, uh, about this with someone about how like there's certain people when you talk to them. It's, like, very apparent that only, like, 10% of what you're saying is actually registering. And they reply back with something that's only, like, tangentially related. Yeah. Because they literally can't process what you're saying. 
Yes. And then they go shop at Walmart. They go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like when I wander around in Walmart for a few hours. The last time I was there, I did have a cute interaction because I didn't buy that many groceries, but it came out to like 70 bucks. And the yeah. old lady who was the extremely elderly woman who was working the till there yeah. was like, well, good heavens, honey. That's a lot of money for what you got. And then like, I was yeah, like, yeah, bitch, I know. Yeah, bitch, I'm fucking not happy about it either. <laughs> it's like three cans of Spam, some tuna and bread. I'm not happy about this. Yeah. And fucking, and some noodles. I'm not yeah. doing, not feeling happy about this. Yeah. And then her like elderly friend who like shops at the Walmart, I think every day mm-hmm. came in and then they had this little like sh- th- weird banter where it was like, they do that thing that uh, old ladies do where they, uh, uh, they always go, uh oh, uh oh, here comes this crazy bitch, and it's some like really old woman with like a streak of purple in her hair, and her friends are like, this bitch is nuts. <laughs> this yeah. bitch is totally nuts. <laughs> I feel so bad for the Walmart greeters. I think the gre- <laughs> the greeters are exclusively. This bitch is crazy. Well, that was this lady was the cashier. Oh, she was running the till, and she was like probably seventy one. Damn, Walmart's so depressing. <laughs> yeah, Jesus it's seventy-one-year-olds in a vest. Yeah, and then next to like working across from the till is like a like fifteen-year-old with like all the hope in the world. Yeah, and it's like oh my god. Yeah, as they're served these weird Jello people. <laughs> <laughs> the McDonald's though is crazy because when I go on the road with Nick, we usually meet at a McDonald's, oh, okay. and he'll run in because Nick famously loves getting a big old Diet Coke from McDonald's. Shout out Nick McQuick and shout out Diet Coke. Shout out Diet Coke sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> but when we go in, it's always like, it's like, uh, it's it's fucking, it's like in the. Do you ever see the Descent? Um. Oh, the, the spelunking movie. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's course. like when they first see the like weird blind slime guy. <laughs> they're like what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like walking in there, it's just like. <laughs> And you're like, oh my <laughs> fucking god! Like, what is going on? Yeah. The McDonald's in particular, like, there's people who just. The Walmart I go to doesn't have a McDonald's. You should check out a. Think. Go. It's worth your time to like witness a Walmart McDonald's yeah. during the day. Yeah. It's nuts. I bet. The people that there's people who just idle there. Like we were trying to go, and there was this elderly woman like asking about the muffins, and I was just trying to get like a cup of coffee. Bitch, it's McDonald's. <laughs> You don't need to know. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, it's McDonald's. <laughs> well, she kept being like, what's what, What's the freshest muffin? And the, the poor lady was trying to... It's all also so many elderly people employed and like going to Walmart. Yeah. It's like old people working, old people shopping. Yeah. It's so weird. That's why I need this podcast to take off because otherwise that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to end up... Uh, 83 year old Walmart greeter <laughs> Yeah I don't have any savings or I have no hope for a future It's, this. Honest. it's, it's this or bust <laughs> This or bust maybe. Vegas or bust Yeah but This it's or Yeah working at the Walmart Or killing myself at 50 Probably Yeah But yeah, yeah It's a bleak place The Walmart I need, yeah, I need the podcast. It literally makes me not want to go. I need the podcast to take off so I can afford Safeway prices. <laughs> oh boy! <Yeah. laughs> so I can afford. Ooh. I can afford. Let's this, not get crazy. The Safeway lifestyle. <laughs> all the beautiful people at Safeway. <laughs> yeah, it's just tens at Safeway. Which is on a subconscious level, that's probably why people spend so much money on literally the same shit at Safeway. Yeah. Because you just get better. to go with beautiful people. It smells good. <laughs> yeah, they have fan- They have like donuts and shit. Yeah, it literally smells good in Safeway. It smells like shit in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like sh- the floor is like sticky. Yeah, everyone in Safeway is a beautiful angel. Yeah, you just they are. hanging out in Safeway all day <laughs> with an engagement ring in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> hanging around the cheese section. <laughs> yeah, with a visible erection through your <laughs> sweatpants, trying to find a wife. And then a Safeway <laughs> security guard comes and says. Let's get you over to Walmart, son. <laughs> <laughs> You've That's had enough fun. Let's <laughs> let's get you over to Walmart. That's how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the place by my place that I actually like? It's it's all Lebanese people. Uh, Freshco. 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 It's never been. All I've heard, I've heard it's good. Lebanese people. The butcher is sick. I went to that H and W place recently. Oh, the like f- uh, the produce one. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was, was telling me it was good. The priciest shit. It's just expensive. Yeah. It's not even like noticeably good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe I'm out to lunch on that, but that's a lot of that. I've I've heard it really like hyped up. Yeah. And I went 
and paid eleven dollars for grapes. <laughs> <laughs> you were loving the grapes though. <laughs> they were good as hell. <laughs> but like normal grapes are like half that. And, are and still good as hell. Identical. <laughs> They're good as fuck. Yeah. Actually I just learned this thing should to try with grapes. You spray lemon juice on them and then freeze them. And then they taste like sour patch kids apparently. Oh. Yeah. I might be doing that tonight. That's cool. Frozen grapes are good. Yeah. I've frozen them before, and they, they are quite a nice little treat. <laughs> <laughs> Put some lemon juice on them next time. Maybe I'll try that. Some healthy guy candies. Ooh. How long are we at on this? <sighs> Who knows? Oh, we're well over. Oh, and, and then some. And then some. We, gotta, we, we just, we're having too much fun talking Walmart. All right, hep cats and cool chicks. All right. You're going to want to hit us on the <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> You're going to want to catch the rest of this Walmart discourse on the Patreon. If you thought this was fun, wait till you hear what we call Walmart people on the Patreon. <laughs> 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 you hear the word we have for Walmart people.